Today is my last day at the academy before I leave. I'm literally sitting here trying not to cry in front of everybody because two years went by like this. Hannah's story is important because she's just an ordinary kid, just like anybody else. She wasn't born into wealth. She wasn't born into a lot of things that make it so easy. When we're talking about inclusion and representation. Every child deserves an opportunity to discover and develop their talents. Hannah Desi, a talented teen from Los Angeles, California, found her love for the game of tennis at a young age thanks to the help of her mother. I really think that out of every single sport, tennis is the most fitting. I'm an only child. I like to do things for myself. Almost everyone I knew had their children in soccer and or softball. I knew that Hana would be a good athlete, but I also knew Hana likes to wear dresses. It literally was this easy. So I thought, well, what sport can she wear a dress? I think it's perfectly made for me. I couldn't see myself playing any other sport. I like that you can be creative with it as well, with the fashion. And I like that it's individual. Everybody plays differently. So I don't feel like I have to fit in a box as long as I win. <laughs> I think that my bond with Hannah is so tight because we're still the only family the two of us have. And there's nothing I wouldn't do for Hannah. Actor and lifelong tennis player Boris Kojo and his wife Nicole Ari Parker established the Kojo Family Foundation to promote health and wellness in diverse communities. In partnerships with Tennis Channel and the Murata Glue Tennis Academy, they were able to offer Hana the opportunity of a lifetime. For us, Love All represents an opportunity for black students to be included in a sport that will greatly benefit from diversity. Hey, Hannah. You grab your stuff. We gotta go. Hello. Hi, guys. This call is to uh, offer you a full-time scholarship for next year at Murata Glue Academy. Are you serious? Like next year? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Hana, as a Love All scholar, represents all the values that the Kojo Family Foundation supports. Um, she is a kind, empathetic person. She's a hard worker. She wants to learn. She wants to grow. As Hana embarks upon this journey, my wish and my intentions for her are to have this experience give her the foundation to reach all the goals and all the dreams that she has for herself. I finally checked in all my bags and now I actually have to say goodbye to my mom. When I first came, I literally remember the feeling, driving from the airport, seeing the sign said Murata Blue Tennis Academy. And when I drove through the gates, I was so emotional and excited and happy to be here. I almost started crying. Here is a lovely front door to my room. We have my lovely closet, and here's my desk, and my bed. As I head into my last year of high school at the Murata Clue Tennis Academy, I really want to focus on building my ranking, winning a lot more matches, and getting more confident on the court. I've never been able to train this much, and so I'm so grateful to be able to play tennis every day and to do what I love. It's 6.04 in the morning and I'm here on the tennis court. I almost didn't make it out of bed today because I'm so tired. The schedule here is definitely intense. In the mornings I wake up and I serve before school and then I have school from 8 in the morning to noon. I have lunch and then after that I train from 2.30 to 5 and from 5 to 6.30 I have fitness and then study time from eight to nine, and then bedtime. Hi, Anna, how are you? Hannah had the opportunity oh. to work with renowned tennis coach Patrick Maradoglu, who trained Serena Williams and countless other top pros. 
One thing you can really improve is the distance between your feet. So this is a key all the time. I needed a lot of repetition and a lot of time on the court, which I didn't have. And so just being here, with, even within the first few months, I could see a lot of improvements just on my game and understanding the game better. Good job, that's perfect. When you play higher over the net, first of all, you don't hit the net. Yeah. And second, you play deep. You worked for it. Yes, great shot, you deserve the short one. Great job. Perfect tennis. It was a pleasure. Training for tennis full time and being halfway around the world without her family definitely came with its challenges. But Hannah was able to use her self-determination to succeed. I'm definitely able to take care of myself, but to know that my mom is 14 hours away, it was kind of scary in the beginning, but all the staff here and everybody makes me feel like I'm at home. The, the academy staff and all of the people that run the academy, they're so wonderful. Dealing with stress, I have been working a lot with that because I'm so new to playing tournaments. I played my first tournament coming to the academy while a lot of people played their first tournament when they were seven, eight, nine years old. So what I've said to my coaches was that I don't really feel like people are beating me. I feel like I'm beating myself just with the amount of pressure that I put on myself. I want to do so well and I want it so bad, but I know that I will keep improving and each tournament I learn something new. So I just finished playing my first match at Ville de Toulon. I really, really like coming out here for this tournament because it's almost two hours away from the academy. So I'm able to see a lot of parts of France that I haven't seen yet. And I had a really nice view on the drive here. It was on a clay court, which has become one of my favorite surfaces to play on. I won 6-3, 6-1. I was a bit nervous in the beginning, but I'm really proud of my match today. So I'm excited to keep coming back. When I came to the academy, I was put in the French ranking system and I was 15-1 and the lowest number that you can be the better and i just got an email and do you see what it says five six i'm five six now i'm a step closer to achieving my goal i have a lot of work to do but i'm so happy i'm applying to colleges right now and i really want to play at a d1 college um, back in the united states so that's one of my really big goals. To apply without my mom is definitely a challenge, but I made a decision that I would do this whole entire process as much as I could by myself. So I just finished filming the first half of my college video, which I'll send to universities and to schools to show them my technique, to show them how I play, to show them my game. When in the college application process, a lot of people told me I was too ambitious. I was applying to schools that were above my tennis level. So I was in the car, mm -hmm. looking at my phone. Mm -hmm. I opened my email. Mm -hmm. Olive, wait, wait, what's cool? <laughs> but I am going to the illustrious Howard University, a D1 tennis school, um, an HBCU in Washington, D.C. Getting the news that Hanna would be getting a scholarship to play at Howard was amazing. She wants to take her tennis to the next level. I think Howard is the perfect place to do that. I really think that I'll bring great energy to the team. Being at the academy taught me that tennis, although it is an individual sport, it's so much more than just yourself. I really got to understand how energy matters, like who you surround yourself with. I just think there's so many lessons that you learn playing tennis that you can take and apply to other aspects of life. Oh my God, I'm all dressed and ready to go. I can't believe it, I have like my little, it says student athletes. This is surreal. This experience has been amazing because it has taught me so much about myself, about the world, like I have friends from almost every single continent now, so many countries. Being surrounded by champions, I really feel like I have a family here and we're out to glue and the south of France is now my second home. We did it! I'm so happy! One of the things I'd like to do um, before we close out is say thank you to everyone who's contributed to Hannah's success Hannah having the opportunities to have the experiences that she's had in life. 
when I listen to my daughter talk, she is already talking about how to help other people get there. Well, tennis costs a lot of money and it requires a lot of resources to be good at it. You need to have to pay for trainers, rackets, equipment, everything. I always think in my mind I would hate just like for there to be another child or somebody who has so much potential like myself and not be able to excel at the level that they could because of lack of resources. It should be inclusive and I think there's a lot more work that has to be done.